we're asked to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular, the sign means perpendicular to a given line and contains a new point. So there's two steps we need to do when we do a problem look like this. Uh, any line is equal to mx plus b is described in this form. Okay, so of course we need to find m, we need to find a b. Since we're not given m directly, we need to find m. So basically we have a two step. Okay, I'm gonna write a big step here. Okay, so step one, find slope. Okay. And then later on, we're going to do a step two. Now, of course, that's going to find intercept. Let's take a look at how we find a step one. Okay, When our two lines are perpendicular, you need to know that m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. Or your theorem in the book says they are reciprocal, negative reciprocal of each other. I don't know how many students have lost points on this minus sign. So whatever it is you have to do, remember it's a negative reciprocal. It's like you have a left hand and a right hand. Okay, You have reciprocal, you also have negative. Okay, Both of them has to be in there. Okay, so from the given line x minus 2y is equal to 5, we can see, or move it around, we have um, basically y, let's say y is equal to x over 2 and minus 5. So what I did is I moved the stuff around a little bit and cleaned it up a little bit. So this is a pretty easy from there to get here. Okay, And then once you get there, you can read the slope that you were given. Let's keep, call it m1 is equal to 1 half. That's literally just the coefficient in front of the x. Okay, if m1 is a half, okay, then m we're looking for, m2, let's call it a perpendicular, is equal to negative reciprocal, which is here. Okay. Now, if you don't see how I go from here to here, let's take a look on the side of how we got there. So you have x minus 2y equal to 5. And so minus 2y is equal to 5 minus x. Divided by minus 2, I have x equal to uh, minus... 5 over 2 here. Okay. Actually, I missed the 2 over there. All right, so once you get this slope, you want to find the slope of the line you're looking for. That's step 1. Okay, let's go on to step 2. We have the slope. We're looking for step 2. We're going to find B, or the y-intercept. Okay, since y is equal to mx plus B, to use that since we found out what the m is m is minus 2 so i have my new line y perpendicular perpendicular line is equal to minus 2 times x plus b and i was given a point that's 3 and minus 4. now this point that I give you it's really important they're basically saying look if you give me x equal to 3 y has to be minus 4 for this equation to be true because this point belongs to this line. Well, the easiest thing to do, of course, is to cheat sort of way and put this in there, minus 2. So here's my y, minus 2 times 3, and plus b. Well, I have a one equation and one variable. It should be pretty easy to solve, right? Minus 4 is equal to minus 6 plus b. So my b, I add 6 on both sides, so I have b equal to 2. Okay. Now I have both of the things I need. I need a slope, I need an intercept. Once I have both of them, my equation of the perpendicular line I'm looking for is equal to slope plus b. Okay, so here's your answer. Have a confident day.